This is a Chinese finger trap or Chinese cuffs. I don't know. That's what we call them uh, when I was younger. And what you can see, it's made out of bamboo material, I think. It's uh, pretty easy to break and crush, but it's, it's fun to play with when you're a kid. Uh, so basically it has, you know, it has two colors. One color is woven going like in a vortex in one, in one direction. And the other one is in a vortex going the other directions. Uh, the idea is you put your fingers in and then you try to pull them out. And this, this, uh, these vortexes, uh, the, the weaving of these vortexes and hold your fingers and there it's, it's like a, a suction effect. <clears throat> it actually feels like your fingers are being, being sucked in there. And this is happening because of this, this different uh, geometry. And it reminded me of Jonathan Adam Pant saying that it's, it's some, something like we've been, it's like being stuck in a, in a six and not being able to get out, you know, cause you got this, the six and the nine uh, vortex going on here. So when you're trying to go out and you're focusing on the, the outer world, on the, on the material, on all the, uh, focusing all your attention on, on what's going on out here, you're getting just, you're getting more and more tied up and stuck. But then as you go inwards, as you focus on, on the inner things of God and of, of Jesus and what Jesus was teaching and the good, good things, wholesome things. Uh, so you're focusing on inwardly on the kingdom of God, you, it, it like releases and your fingers can come out. So, um, so as you focus on the outward things, it pulls and gets tight and you get stuck, you get trapped. As you focus inward, it loosens up and you have more freedom, you have more peace. And you know, these, these Asian cultures, this is a very old, very ancient uh, toy from, uh, from the Orient. And these people in the past, they were, they were creating toys like this as learning lessons for their children because they, they understood that simple, like, or actually very powerful concepts could be passed down to children through simple toys and simple, simple learn, uh, object lessons like this. So, uh, yeah, next time you're out at the shop, pick up, pick up a few of these and just, just play with them. Uh, it, it's, it's really, it's one thing to watch a video, but it's another thing to like, to do it yourself and, uh, you know, always do your own research, of course, but it's, it's definitely something you can, it, it your mind changes when you, when you really like touch something kinesthetically, uh, instead of just always visually seeing stuff through videos, uh, get out there and kinesthetically, uh, try this stuff. Um, so yeah, have fun.